die. People who had a lot of wealth, a lot of authority, people who had so much. And Allah Almighty says, do you know how, how many of them we've destroyed? They're no longer in existence. The last verse of the Surah Maryam, Allah says, do you hear them? Do you even hear a sound from them now? The Pharaoh who was a great tyrant and all the others who had so much, they amassed so much of wealth. Do you hear, do you hear them at all? Even a breath or even just a small sound? Nothing. So Allah Almighty is addressing us to say, oh man, don't become haughty. People who had more than you have already returned to Allah. So no matter what you have, you are also going to return to Allah. Allah Almighty says in verse number 74, We have destroyed many before them who were better than them. They had more belongings than them. They had much more than them. And much more than you may Allah Almighty grant us a lesson and at the end Allah Almighty asks the same question or makes the same statement actually he says Hal min ahadin, aw tasma'u lahum riksan. can you feel any one of their presence or do you even hear from them the slightest of sounds the answer is no so abstain from haughtiness. Humble yourself to Allah. Be respectful when addressing others. May Allah grant us goodness. When Allah Almighty told the Prophet Moses to go to the Pharaoh, he reminded him to speak with utmost respect in the most beautiful words. If you notice, every other day in our episode speaking about revelation, we are coming to this point, the point of how you speak to others. It's because Allah Almighty addresses us with so much of respect, yet He is the Lord of the worlds. He speaks to us. He has revealed verses for us with utmost respect, subhanAllah. So when we speak to people, we should be speaking with a soft tone. We should be speaking with soft words. We should be speaking with loving, kind words, respectful terminology. We should be addressing people bearing in mind that they are human beings. If we forget that, how can we call ourselves those connected to Allah or those connected to revelation? We must reconnect my brothers my sisters. If we take a look at what Allah Almighty says in verse number 44 of Surah Taha, فَقُولَا لَهُ قَوْلًا لَيِّنًا لَعَلَّهُ يَتَذَكَّرُ أَوْ يَخْشَى A beautiful verses. I love these verses. Allah is telling the best of the time to go to the worst of the time and Allah still says to him, the two of you, when you go to the Pharaoh, Speak to him with soft words. Perhaps by virtue of you speaking with soft words, he may, he may take heed and he may be more conscious of Allah. Perhaps an element of consciousness or fear of Allah will be instilled in his heart. Subhanallah. This shows us that when you speak to people kindly, they would be more willing to listen to what you have to say. So Zakaria salam was so happy, but he was embarrassed at the same time for the reason that they were old. What am I going to tell the people? Now, obviously we are taught that we shouldn't worry about what people say, but human nature is such that somewhere within you, there is a small concern about your reputation, perhaps, perhaps about what people close to you may or may not say. But because of this, Zakaria alayhi salatu wasalam asked for a sign. Qala Rabbi ja'alli ayah. Qala ayatuka alla tukallima nasa thalatha layalin sawiyya. He says, O oh my Lord, Grant me a sign. Allah Almighty says, 
Your sign is that you shouldn't speak to people for three nights. In another verse for three days. So three days, three nights. Don't speak to the people. You know, subhanallah, Allah will assist, Allah will guide, Allah will answer, Allah will clarify. You do not need to do that. So sometimes these things happen. That was verse number 10 of Surah Maryam, where he asked for a sign. Sometimes the problem is too big. It requires silence from us. We shouldn't be speaking too much. We should perhaps leave it to Allah. Try, maybe. And then if the matter is too big, remain silent. So while we're talking about children and having children, this is another lesson that we learn as we reconnect with Revelation to say, at times, it's okay what people think. Never mind. The good will think good. The bad will always think bad. But those in the middle, Allah will grant them clarity over time. In that case, it was three days, three nights. In your case and mine, it might be longer than that. Who knows? But if you're a good person, time will tell that you're actually a good person. People who accuse you of something, Allah Almighty will clear your name over time. They will realize they were wrong if they were good. But if they were bad, they would never believe you even if they saw it in front of their eyes that you were a good person. So don't worry. We have to please Allah, not people. But in the interim, Allah Almighty will make people pleased with us if we have pleased him. That is a narration of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He says, whoever pleases Allah and in the process earns the displeasure of the people, Allah becomes pleased with that person and over time Allah makes the people pleased with that person too. But whoever displeases Allah in order to achieve the pleasure of people, Allah is displeased with that person and very soon over time, even the same people who were pleased with him or her will be displeased. When, when the Prophet Moses, may peace be upon him, went to the Pharaoh and told him that you need to turn to Allah. The reminder came from Allah Almighty to say, we're all human beings, including the Pharaoh. Allah created us in a certain way, all of us. And Allah Almighty is going to cause us to die and then he will resurrect us. So to remind us that we were created from soil and dust, Allah Almighty says in verse number 55 of Surah Taha, مِنْهَا خَلَقَنَاكُمْ وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ وَمِنْهَا نُخْرِجُكُمْ تَارَةً أُخْرَى We have created you from the dust, the soil, the clay. We have created you from it. We will return you to it, from the earth. We will return you to the earth. And we will resurrect you once again from it. So, O oh man, remember who you are. You're just a human being created from earth. Subhanallah. That is Allah our Almighty, reminding us gently in a beautiful way of our origins. If Allah wanted, He could have created us from something very different. In fact, He could have created us from gold and silver. He could have created us from some heavenly material. But Allah Almighty decided, I'm going to create man for purposes of his living on earth from the earth. So he created us from the earth only for the duration of our existence on the earth. But he will resurrect us again from that. So Allah says, I created you from it. I caused you to die and return to it. And I'll resurrect you from it once again. Thereafter in Jannah, the exact bodies we will be having we're not told about the detail, but we are told they will be perfect in paradise. So may Allah Almighty grant us paradise and make it very, very...